Hi! On today's episode, we're going to make a spider, but don't be afraid, it's a friendly spider. So join us! Hi, this is Tweek. Today I'm going to make a spider for a Halloween centerpiece that we're going to use on our table. So let's get started. Supplies you'll need for this project are polymer clay, some beads, assorted beads, and some findings, which are the pins that go with the beads. And you'll need a dedicated oven to bake your polymer clay. And let's go. I'm going to take some black and I'm going to just cut off a chunk. A couple ounces worth of black polymer clay. I'm going to put the chunk aside and I'm going to cut this up just a little bit. And this is a spider. This is not going to be a mean spider because I, I like spiders, but for me they've got to be a little more friendly. So I'm just going to pick up this black and start working it with my hands. To keep the clay from leaching color into any surface, you want to use a surface like a piece of countertop. And I'm just rolling and manipulating and getting this clay to be softer. So I'm getting the shape that I want. You could look at pictures of spiders to see what shape you'd like for you. Some of them are flat, some are real bumpy, bulbous. This one's going to be, I think, closer to the tarantula family. He's going to be big. But today, I want him to be friendly, although he can be big. I'm trying to decide which piece do I want to be his head and which piece do I want the middle. Spiders. Okay, so I like this one for the head. And what I'm going to do is take that ball, I'm just going to gently push so it gets close to the shape I want. And then I'm going to add the head, put the head a little bit up. Next, I'm going to work on the legs. The legs I'm making out of pins that are for jewelry making and beads. And let me show you how I constructed this. It's a three inch pin with a flat top on it. And to stop the beads from sliding off, I used a silver bead that acts as the foot. And I just came up with a combination of beads that I liked to make the length of the leg. Part of the fun of doing this is running through the combinations and seeing what appeals to you. And I added just some little teeny silver spacers to add some interest. And then I put a flatter silver bead on the top. So that's going to be the leg. It's going to stick out. I'm going to take my pliers. I'm just going to bend down. And that is what's going to go into the clay. And then I will angle it at different angles as I stick it in to get the legs. We want a couple to come up front, a few to the side, and the two out the back. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and bend all these little guys here. If there's a little bit that sticks out the top, I'm bending as close as I can to the bead, but that's okay. If you look at a spider's leg, they're very disjointed. So I've got my legs all bent, and they're ready to poke in. Before I do that, I want to make sure I have the right form on the head and the butt area. And I'm going to make some eyeballs. I'm going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to decide how big I want his eyes to be. Okay, manipulate the white a little bit and form two balls. Hopefully they're about the same size. Let's see what we got here. That's pretty good. Pretty good guess. And what I'm going to do is place them towards the top of his head so he's kind of looking up. Now they're even touching. I'm going to keep a little space between the eyes. And then I'm going to take two beads and I'm just going to press them with the hole for the bead on top. And I'm going to press them in to the eyes. How far you want to go? up to you. I'm going to go about that far. There's his eyes. Now to keep those in there. Ooh, where did they go? I've got a couple little. Aren't these pretty? These are little pins that you use for earring making, jewelry making. And they're too long, so I'm going to cut off the excess. 
and then push it through the hole in the eye and that gives him a little bit of sparkle. <laughs> That's cute, huh? So we've got his eyes placed. Smooth out any lines you see or it's a spider, leave it. And then I'm going to put his legs in next. So we've got eight legs. The ones in the front stick out a little more. So I wanted to put some bend. Let me pause here for a moment. Put some bend in the legs. Since the legs are the same on each side, I'm gonna go ahead and plan out a little bit what kind of a bend I want in them. Some can go down. See the, the wire just bends, jewelry wire. I want the ones in front to be more, and the ones in back can be more flat. So let's put these two in the front. Just punch them in the clay and push down. And then we'll put these two next. So we've got two more. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna push these guys straight in as they are. The back two I'm gonna curve just a little bit back. Wow, you're kind of a big spider. <laughs> bend. This is time before you bake. Bend and curve however you want those legs to be. I actually want his butt to be a little rounder, so I'm going to manipulate the clay a little bit. Okay. Is that how it's going to be, Mr. Spider? I want your face to be a little bit up. Now, I think I've got him how I want him positioned, and I'm going to embellish him a little bit with some more beads, because he's going to be a fancy, fancy spider. I want him to be a little less creepy. So let's start by a mouth. I take one of my tools. This is a nut tool for taking care of shells on nuts. I'm just going to press in, press in deep, and come on the other side, flip it over. Oh. I didn't flip it over. But I want a nice little happy face on my spider. And then we're gonna pull the chin up just a little bit. I should have gotten a fly to put in his mouth. That would have been cool. His or her mouth. What are you, a boy or a girl? You're a spider. Okay, now we've got his face. We've got his legs placed. And I'm gonna embellish him with a few of these here. I'm gonna spike up his body a little bit. Just play around with your beads. I'm gonna put some straight beads here. I'm not gonna do an hourglass, but I'm definitely gonna give him a pattern. Push those in, and I've got some black beads that I'm going to push in. See how his body's getting a little flatter? Okay, Mr. Spider. You're a happy little guy, even though I would never want you crawling around the house. Okay, I'm still thinking his little butt should be rounder, but you know what? I guess you're gonna be a, a chubby spider. Then I'm gonna take, I thought I had some more of those little round ones. I do. I'm gonna take a couple more long ones and put them along the side. really fat body. And then I want to take some more of these spiky ones just because I want them to be bulbous, but pretty bulbous. And I'm just going to cut these. They're too long. I'm going to cut off the edges. And see how many I need. I think I have like 24 of them. And I'm just going to willy-nilly punch them into his body. And I think I'm going to keep punching in until I run out of them. We'll see. and punch these in. And I'm gonna keep going down his backside. Do you ever think a spider could be so much fun? If you go to punch in, you feel another piece of wire, just angle it. And I'm going to put a few on his head too. Now we know that they have a whole bunch of eyes. Okay, now, now it's time to see, do you like your spider? <laughs> he looks kind of like a cartoon character, but that's all right. Let's go put him in the oven.
So our spider's out of the oven. Let's see how he turned out. Oh, okay. Um, a little bit larger than I thought. Wow, well, you know, I could make this work or I could, it's Halloween, let's do some magic and maybe let's see what happens. That's better. The same process, the same materials, and it's just a little bit smaller, a little more spidery, and we're gonna continue on by giving him a dunk. I'm gonna get a protective surface, and I'm going to dunk my spider into the shellac. I think he will fit. I'm gonna use this surface here legs a little bit. Down he goes in. Ooh. And out he comes. And there he is. And his legs spawned a little bit. Ooh, okay. Nice little dunking. There's true colors show out. them a dry and then we'll be all done so there you have it our spider is complete doesn't he look good and he wiggles a little bit and he feels heavy so I'm really glad he's not real and that he's friendly we're going to use him in a centerpiece that we're going to make for Halloween so join us then in our next episode to see how that turns out if you like what you've seen here today give us a like subscribe to our channel and leave a comment do you like, you like spiders? spiders? See you again.